everyone, I'm Saili Puri from India, grade 5. But today I'm going to represent another cool, amazing and very interesting personality that I love learning about. You'll meet her in a few seconds. Hey everyone, I'm Gitanjali Rao. I'm from Lone Tree, Colorado and 16 years old. I'm most famous for being Time Magazine's Kid of the Year in 2020 as a young scientist and innovator. I like finding solutions to real global problems. But first let me tell you a bit about myself. If there's one thing you need to know about me, it's that I'm very, very curious. I, I just want to know a lot about every single thing around me. Sometimes it becomes a little bit of a problem, but that's okay because I just love the process of learning in general. My family travels a whole lot. I mean, I want to say 14 countries that we've visited. There's one place in particular I really want to see, and it's Madagascar, even though I know we're probably not going there anytime soon. I just love the idea of so many wild, roamy things, because it's one of my favorite places to just like research about. Some of my hobbies are baking and fencing. I fly gliders, and I love playing the piano. I also dance Indian classical. I started becoming interested in science at age four. I got this science kit for my birthday, and let me tell you, it was not what I wanted. But I'm glad that I got it, because that's when my science passion started. I combined my love for science and my knack for solving problems so I could find solutions to them and be kinder towards the world. I just cannot imagine a world full of positivity and kindness without science and technology being involved. So I've made this lead detector device. It detects lead in water. And I was inspired by the Flint, Michigan water crisis. I was heartbroken seeing how many children my age were drinking an essential poison every day. And I just had to find a solution for it. So I did. I've named my device Tethys after the Greek goddess of fresh water. I, it has this carbon nanotube sensor that it looks like a stick. You dip it in the water you want to test and the results appear in an app, I, in an app I've made on your mobile phone. My second invention is called Epione. It's a solution for prescription opioid addiction. One of my close friend's family member got in a car accident and he got addicted to opioid. It was super scary just seeing all that and I wanted to find a cure for him. So I did do that. It's called Epione because I named it after the Greek goddess of soothing pain. It, it takes images of a sample in a cuvette and sends them to your mobile phone on an app called Epione that I've made for this particular device. You have an option to either send it to remote technicians or see it for yourself to analyze the level of addiction you have. My third innovation is called Kindly. It's basically a uh, solves cyberbullying. It prevents cyberbullying actually. So it uses AI to check that whatever you write is bully free so that the things you message to other people on this app are kind. <laughs> I was also a Marvel superhero in the Marvel Hero Project that came up in 2019. I never knew they could make me look so cool because they made this 30 minute documentary about me and gave me a cool jacket. I, I've written this book called A Young Innovator's Guide to STEM, Five Steps to Problem Solving for Students, Educators, and Parents. I am really a huge promoter and supporter of STEM. I really like proving people wrong on the stereotypical image of a scientist because a scientist doesn't always look like one, you know? <laughs> and people's reactions are like, whoa. But sometimes I'm disheartened too. I was tired of just being ignored, told that my solutions to huge problems didn't matter because I was a child or because I alone couldn't make a difference. Which is what I came to accept after some time. One girl cannot just solve all the world's problems. One girl cannot suddenly turn the whole place into paradise. But we, the new generation, we can. We can all see, choose that one thing that we want to change. And if we all do it, I'm sure it will make a difference. We're facing problems nobody has seen before. And the young generation, the young people, we can find solutions to them because we're still adjusting. We're so fresh minded. So I urge you all, just find your one problem and make a solution. 
we can all come together and change the world. Thank you.